Finally a day off. Now I can relax. Australia Day. Australia Day is about, um, mateship. And celebrating the fair go. The speech that never changes. Just tell us who won Australian of the Year. Yeah, bugger the Shane Warn one. Yeah. Warney has been awarded Australian of the Year because he once went to England and banged two models at once. And he also did a video tutorial on how to play cricket for the kiddies. Look, you're never going to be as good as me, all right? Give up. We now delve into the mind of pretty much every white person that doesn't go to the city much. Why is there so many Asians here? They're not even Australian. They don't understand mateship or the fair go. They just walk around taking pictures in front of landmarks, not bothering anyone. It's annoying. Asians. Most non-Australian race ever because they're not lazy. But don't worry, they will be. Because there's something about this land that just makes you think. I don't give a shit about anything. Alright class, Australia Day is coming up, so write down what you think it means on a piece of paper, because I'm dying to read that. Hmm, what did my mum say about it? It's about making wearing the flag embarrassing for anyone else. <laughs> it's not Australia Day, it's Invasion Day, and as a white person I find it personally offensive. What is that this? Guess who just came back from Canberra, Stitch? Oh, sick. Put on the fireworks now, bro. No, you dumbass. We gotta wait until night. Oh, my God, man. Imagine if you're on top of one of them when it blew off. You'd die, eh? Oh, as if you would, Zadis. You'd probably just get your leg blown off. Australia Day is about arguing over pointless hypotheticals that would never happen in real life. It's about being disappointed with whoever makes it to number one on Triple J's Hottest 100. It's about trying to breed a man with a cock so large that someone from the Shire will one day be able to f*** the great Australian bite. They're all correct. Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.